What do John Mayer, B.B. King, and Eric Clapton have in common? Well, they all use this pentatonic shape that I'm about to show you to write riffs and play soulfully. Let's jump into it. Gravity sounds like this. Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton sounds like this. And some classic B.B. King riffs would sound like this. Now notice they're all in the same exact shape. I'm gonna show you exactly how they do it and I'm gonna break it down so you can actually practice this and use this in your playing afterwards, okay? This movement I like to call the BB box. After BB King, all the guitar legends have used this from Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, Joel Walsh, you name it, they are using this shape. And what's so beautiful about this shape is it just immediately sounds soulful. It immediately invokes that like, ooh, that gritty blues, soul, country vibe that you're trying to give the listeners. So I'm gonna give you the fingerings and in its simplest form, just break it all the way down. So we're gonna be dealing with the key of A major. What I want you to do is in its simplest form, the BB box sounds like this. Once again. Now this note is an A. That is gonna be our landmark. Our first finger on the B string will always be our landmark. So say if the song was in C. What we would do is we'd find a C note on the B string and boom, we're in the BB box. Now let's go back to the key of A. In its simplest form, I want you to play with your middle finger slide from the ninth fret to the 11th fret on the G string. And then we play with our first finger, the B string 10th fret. Wiggle it a little bit, give it a little soul, you know? Give it a little life. Because if it sounds like this, that is flat and that is not soulful. So what I want you to do is play this real slow. One more time. All right, now we got a little soul, we got a little character in our playing. Uh, but we're not done yet. We're not done by a long shot. Now, if you really want to take this to the next level, play this afterwards. Once again. Sounds like this. Bend with your ring finger, 12th fret B string. Just a little bit. Give it a little blues, a little character. And then we come back down, we pluck the 10th fret B string, we pluck the 12th fret B string, we come down to this note, 11th fret G string, and then we resolve home base on the 10th fret, this is like the A, the A note. So it sounds like this. That's a nice little lick you could take to the bank. You could start playing right away. A ton of soul. So here we go. So far we have this. Now if we want to take this riff even further than before, we could do something like this. doing is we're on the high E string, 12th fret, bend up, come back down. So once again, we go down to our B string and we kind of have that note bent just a little bit, just a little bit. We come down, we have it bent on the 12th fret, 
bring it down, and we land on that A note, 10th fret B string. Sounds like this. Now the reason it's called the BB box is you are literally locked into that little part of the neck, right? You're not moving, you're not going super low on the third fret, not going all the way up to the 17th fret. You are literally in a box, but you don't need to move anywhere because that little shape, that little box, these notes I'm showing you, invoke so much soul, invoke so much feeling and emotion. That's, there's a reason that everybody knows the name BB King. There's a reason that your mom knows who BB King is. It's because he is a legend. It's because this BB box, among other things, helped him invoke very soulful, very melodic, very meaningful playing. And it's no wonder why Eric Clapton, John Mayer, ton of other people copied him. It's just because he had the right recipe. And that's what I'm giving you guys. I wanted to show you this little recipe this BB box, it will invoke a lot of really, really soulful, dynamic, colorful playing. Now, a way to practice this. That is always the question I get asked. How do you practice this stuff? Well, if you are in the key of A, you know what to do because we've been playing in the key of A. Now, just as a refresher, uh, if we are in a different key, like the key of, say, G, all right, this is what we do. I say, oh, okay, I'm in the key of G. I got to find a G note on the B string, all right? There it is, right there, on the eighth fret. And then we can just play that BB box, we know. Now, if you're asking yourself, Alec, is this a major, is it a minor? What is this? Is this a diminished? Don't worry about it. It sounds amazing when you're playing over a major chord. Okay, that's all you need to know. You use that BB box immediately, people will be like, okay, okay, that sounds great. Don't worry about the theory, the Berkeley kind of thing about what you're doing. Just know that it invokes a lot of emotion, a lot of soul. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching today's video on soulful guitar lessons. If you're looking to learn more about soulful guitar playing, check out this video or video series. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button.